Charges create patterns in the electric field. If you look at a single positive sphere, the electric field looks like this. A single negative sphere, the electric field looks like this. But instead of using a single positive charge or a single negative, we could put a positive and a negative beside each other, and then we could look at the electric field in this space around them. What does the electric field look like when you have two charges? It's kind of a combination of the two pictures we just saw. Field lines leave the positive charge and they enter the negative charge. Really close, they appear to extend out along radii. And really close to the negative, they enter along radii. So that's the similarity to what we just looked at on the previous slide. But instead of just going straight out like this, they curve around to meet up. If you look to the sides on the left and the right, here we do have lines that basically extend out along radii. They're far enough away from the negative charge to be affected. If you take the opposite, put the negative side on the negative charge on the left, the picture is simply the same, but with the arrows pointing the other way. What if you take two positive charges? The field lines look like this. So they start out extending along radii, and this is the same as before. And you can see that on both the left charge and the right charge. The field lines start out kind of extending out along radii but then they curve away from each other. For two negative charges, the field lines do the same thing. But instead of pointing out away, field lines always point in toward negative charges. You might be wondering how we get these pictures. Let's take the case of two positive charges, and you want to know what does the field look like in the space around these charges? How do these charges impact the electric field? We answer that question using our positive test charge. So we're going to come along and place our positive test charge at a point and look at what's happening. First, let's consider this point. The positive test charge would be repelled from this first sphere. And it would be repelled from the second sphere. But the second sphere is much farther away, so this electric field contribution is smaller. To get the net effect, we add the two tip to tail, and we draw the resultant. At this point, the positive test charge would be repelled away from both spheres. You add the two effects to get the net field. And finally here, the positive test charge is repelled from the first sphere, repelled from the second, so you add the two to get the net effect you can see that this field is curving like so. Everywhere where there's a curve or a bend, the field is tangential to the curve. So if you consider this point down here, where does the electric field point? Tangential to the curve. If you consider this point, where does the electric field point? Tangential to the curve. Right here, where does the electric field point? There is no curve. So it's straight along the field line. Remember that this electric field tells you something about positive test charges. So right here, the field is pointing tangential to the curve. And if you put a positive test charge right there, make this positive, the positive test charge is pushed along the direction of the field line. But if you were to take instead a negative test charge and place it, well, we don't really use negative test charges, but a negative charge would be pushed against the field, like that. If you consider this point down here, a positive charge would be pushed with the field and always tangent to the curve. A negative charge would be pushed against the field and always tangent to the curve.